Hi guys, it's Angel here. So today I'm here with another uh, Lisa the Tech profile, and this time, uh, finally, I get to uh, do a updated Roroa Tech profile. Uh, I only get the promo very recently, like in a month or so, and uh, since in my Japan trip, I actually get to buy one of these, uh, so I'm still missing like one of. Uh, the SPs to actually make the whole right line SPs, but uh, I also thought myself haven't been actually playing Varroa for quite a long time, so I actually build the deck up and uh, give it a try. Uh, because we do have a lot of cards, um, including what we get from Festival Booster, uh, including from recent sets, uh, and of course the promo, right? So. Uh, I think it's time for us to revisit Roa and see if it's actually better than before. Right? Um, so, the right line is completely the Roa right line because you need the plant tokens. Um, and nothing too much to say about that, I think. Right. And then, next, uh, into the main deck, of course, uh, the new Roa. It's uh, basically how you uh, survive, how you draw more cards, how you apply pressure to your opponent. Because just this rule is not going to save you a half a game that I sit on him until I lose. So uh, as long as that happens, I'm, I don't think it's something that you can cover. Uh, so always try to uh, at least keep one in your hand so you can just hard ride it if you need to. Uh, yeah generates two tokens for you to draw cards um, it applies a little bit higher in power and then with crit onto your vanguard so that your opponent will need to drop more cards uh, and while you are rushing your opponent sometimes this is something that you actually need to win the games as a little last push and then three of the uh, great free uh, redolina I even want to cut one more uh, she's only great my opponent is almost done uh, but I learn to sometimes just put her down as an attacker because by doing that once I get back to my role I can actually sack a Momoke token to get the 5k and then as long as she survives I can still make another Momoke right and uh, I don't always need her to gain extra power of course if she can that's even better but if you don't get the power you just play her down as a different attacker and enabling your Momoke to attack on the back row I think that's also something that's good to have so uh, so far I'm still using 3 but I might cut that down to 2 if I need to and then uh, 4 of the orders because it just grabs something that you need it makes your Momoke stronger, it makes your token stronger and with the new supports uh, it's actually quite important so at 4 and then the Great 2 Redolina that's basically how you rush your opponents how you win most of your games by applying pressure which is more important than the Great 3 one so definitely a 4 off uh, and the easiest way to generate Momoke tokens so that's here and then the Dual Nation cards, which is uh, Flame Leaf, Chaotic Dance, Huxley, and Rembrandt. So this, when it's placed on regard circle from hand other than during your, uh, the battle phase, you may call a plant token so you already get a free token. And if you can't plus one, and you can choose one of the following, which is you get uh, all of your regards that were placed by your card ability this turn get plus 5k at the end of turn. It applying to yourself not the unit itself so even if this unit is gone the effect will still be with you for the rest of the turn and because it already gives you a free token so that token is already plus 5k or you can choose one of your vanguard it gets plus 5 until the end of the turn and if you have four or more units it gets 10k instead of 5 uh, so it can make your roar actually quite strong by having a bigger number uh, but it's up to you because we do call a lot of different plan tokens. So sometimes you will play this early with a bunch of 
plant tokens that might be a very good rush turn um, when you don't have your red alina at least you are building a very strong board that your opponents cannot guard early game and then uh, three of the friendly broccoli uh, is another good drawing source and as long as you have a token uh, on your board on your uh, Riga circle you will get plus 5k so it's not easy to die uh, and then you will get extra 5k shield so you can survive a little bit longer and uh, two of the energy blocks cost uh, if I get to cut one more that might be the third one uh, because this is a very good defensive card and because you, we don't actually use a lot of energy this is actually helping me out to utilize the energy while drawing some cards and I have options to ditch this to draw cards instead of drawing uh, discarding some key pieces that I might not be able to just, just bring them back next uh, four of the promo Amaranth uh, so this is also a jump drive but this has to be in your hand put into your soul so that you can search a uh, new reward from your deck to ride it on top uh, which is very very important because if again if you can't go into this it will be very hard for you to just play the game and because you basically need to soul blast one every single turn to generate free plant tokens this builds your soul as well so it's important <laughs> it's really important and you get 5k shield as long as you have a Rorua, uh Vanguard so your right line is basically all Rorua so it's always a 10k shield and uh, with the tokens that you have it makes your card a little bit more tough because a lot of times what we are lacking are 15k shields and then a token plus this is already 15k so yeah this kind of helping you out with the problem and then uh, two of the Eliana. So uh, as long as you don't have another regard with the same card name as this unit, all your Grace Zero regards will get plus five k. So basically your Momo K and your Plant Tokens. And then with uh, the order, you get more buff. With this, you get more buff. So your Plant Tokens are getting stronger, 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 and stronger. And as long as you have one on the field, that's all that matters. And then one gem beast, just in case you need extra defense. Uh, if you need the extra soul, you can actually put it down and use that effect. And then uh, for PGs, if you want to use the blaze solar, feel free to go for it. Uh, yeah, not much to say about that. Triggers. OT, I'm actually trying out the new uh, Dark OT uh, because we use a lot of counter blast and a extra way to get some heals would be great and because we always will be kind of attacking with one side and then going with your vanguard use your mobile k and then use your red alina and uh, by not having only four attacks a sudden strike with fifth attack can actually win your games because when your opponents are all calculating you only do four attacks if you are using uh for example the stoichia ot things are basically calculated if you're using the new light ot uh you can get the board wipe but i don't think that helps you too much uh the fire ot can do something similar can do but then when you are running out of cost you're still kind of in a bad situation but having this you get yourself one chance to heal extra chance to heal then that can turn into another combo blast hopefully and that can help you win games when you do your combos or when you can do your combos basically and then uh, sowing crit because uh, souls is important uh, formal crits whatever crits you want uh, draw because I'm running this I'm more going for a side vanguard side side attack so 
draw is actually helping me out and uh, compared to front more cards in the hand actually get me the combo pieces that I need so I think it's more important there and then 4 heals if you want to use effect heals up to you it's always the free space uh, nothing too much you need to worry about that if you want to keep it simple just do it like that that's that yeah so uh, after all these upgrades I think the deck is actually getting a lot stronger but the weak point is still the same it's that what I keep saying as long as you're on this Varroa for the rest of the game you lose unfortunately uh, not like ever that you can keep getting a lot of good things just by ever uh, this you can only generate tokens and because we don't have exile circles we don't have extra recap circles we always need to compete the spaces to put our cards and you don't always get to call three plant tokens because you don't want the third plant token to step on something that is important because Think about that. What you most likely to see is this a Momoke token, right? And then uh, hopefully this, right? So you don't want to uh, put a plant token on top of this because you need the buff. You don't want to put, uh, put a plant token right here because she's your corner attacker. You definitely don't want to put a plant token on top of Momo K because you want to use your Momo K to eat the tokens, right? So, uh, when you're on this, you soul blast. Basically, you can only call to uh, call two of them, and it's kind of a waste. But if you're on this, you generate two of those, and you can eat them to immediately draw your cards. And then, if you go into this, you can call another plant token right here, give you a vanguard uh, plus 10k, then that's a different story, right? So uh, unfortunately just the pure very free Rorua so far is not going to help you too much, but then uh, with this, with this, you're, you're generating more plant tokens and getting stronger, and then with uh, this allows you to draw more cards. Uh, with shield and attack make you survive longer and then this is definitely helping because you don't need to just rely on drawing into the new Rorua you have another chance to do the jump right but do be careful not like because you're in this you just ditch this I tried it I ditched this and then I never see another copy and then I'm dead so uh, do be careful when picking your cards to drop for using a right line and you will be fine yeah if you have any questions feel free to comment down below let me know your questions I'm always happy uh, happy to help if you are using any other cards feel free to let me know in the comments down below as well subscribe for more different deck profiles unboxing deck fight videos uh, I am trying to do more deck fights and we do have another set coming out early June, so there will be unboxing on there as well. Uh, hopefully I can also do a few uh, deck profiles for you guys as well. Before the new set, I do have some coming, uh, but I just need to make sure I test them out before I show you guys. Yeah, so I mean, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Signing off.